Mr John Hayes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I refer members to my entry in the register concerning higher education. Uh, will the uh, right hon. Lady, in accepting my congratulations for her robust counter to the small minds that have criticised the small report, uh, the Saul report, small minds that can't tell the difference between disadvantage, disparity and discrimination, by the way, will she ensure that every government department effects what she said today and what this report uh, proposes? Because education is at particular risk. From Brighton and Hove Council's destructive and pernicious racial training for primary school teachers, which still hasn't been dealt with despite a cursory inspection from the Department for Education, to Nottingham University, who appallingly, my old university by the way, who appallingly have withdrawn Tony Saul's honorary degree, uh, while giving it to Chinese Holocaust deniers, by the way. That's, that, that's the old university. Will she issue that kind of guidance to, to each government department to stop this nonsense about critical race theory and white privilege? Uh, Madam, Deputy, Madam Deputy Speaker, uh, the Honourable Gentleman is right to uh, make the point about distinctions in language. Discrimination, disparities, disadvantage, they all mean different things. They can correlate, they can be related. And now that we have an action plan, now that we have something that is written, I can assure him that this is something that we will be propagating across government and across uh, not just in Whitehall, but also beyond Whitehall. He is right to raise the case of Brighton and Hove. In fact, I read in a paper today a black mother who has complained about the way that their anti-discrimination training is actually discriminatory. I think he is right to raise the case of um, Tony Sewell who unbelievably had an honorary degree withdrawn because he did not believe that this is a racist country. That is an example of the sort of silencing that we are seeing of ethnic minorities across the board. It is, it, it, it is terrible, and I have to say that I was disappointed to see the member for Hackney North um, and Stoke Newington congratulate Nottingham University for cancel culture. I think she will find that those sorts of actions prevent ethnic minorities from participating in public life. Diane Abbott. The Minister will be aware that recommendation four of her report is that they, the government wishes to bridge divides and create partnerships between the police and communities. Will the Minister explain how she thinks strip searching black school girls helps to bridge the divide between the police and communities? And is she aware? that this is not an isolated incident. The Metropolitan Police's own figures show that in 2020 to 2021, 25 young people under 18 were strip searched. Most of those were black or ethnic minority. 60% were black. The rest were some kind of minority ethnic. And only two of those 25 children that were strip searched was actually white. Is the Minister aware of how degrading this strip search was? It wasn't that she was st just stripped naked. They made her part the cheeks of her bottom and cough. She was on her period. I could give more detail, but I don't want to distress people in this house. It was utterly degrading. She is still traumatised. I have to stress. They found no drugs. She's never been accused of taking drugs. How can the minister sit there and tell this house that that had nothing to do with that young girl's race, that the figures I've quoted are not striking? And will she assure this house and the wider community that the government will take notice of whatever comes out of the reports into this and make sure that the Metropolitan Police and school teachers will not collude in this treatment of young school girls again. Uh, the Honourable, the Right Honourable Lady is very, very correct to raise the issue of strip searching. The Home, uh, the Home Secretary, I believe, wrote to her shadow and said that the incident is deeply concerning. Strip searching is one of the most intrusive powers available to the police because it allows officers to go well beyond a person's outer clo uh, clothing. And there are safeguards and codes of practice that must be followed when the power is used. So what has gone wrong in this specific, um, what has gone wrong in this specific instance? That is being investigated. I don't have the full details. 
details, and I'm not able to um, provide the sort of answers that we would do um, until an inquiry is finished. But what I can tell her is that those figures are startling. No one has said that racism does not exist. No one has said that there are no problems in the system. But what we do ask is that we investigate every single incident where we see a trend. We try and understand what is going. We try and understand what is going on. This action plan provides even more things that we can do in order to support communities to hold their local police to account. But the other thing which we do stress is that when these things happen, we mustn't forget that every day the police are saving the lives of young people all across this country. They save the lives of young black children, brown, Asian, of all communities. And when incidents like this happen, we mustn't look at them as representative of every single thing that the police do, even though we're going to do everything we can in order to tackle them and reduce such incidents from occurring. May you. The Honourable Member for Coventry North West stated that the report of the Independent Commission was received with outrage because it failed to find structural racism. But surely we want government strategy to be based on evidence and not ideology. Does my honourable friend agree that a narrative that all minority discrimination is caused by majority discrimination or privilege is by definition divisive? diverts attention away from the real causes of discrimination as found by the Independent Commission and is incompatible with the goal of a sense of a belonging. I do, I do completely agree with that, and the reason why is because we cannot have a situation where young ethnic minority children grow up in a society and are told that everyone in that society is against them. It means that they will give up, they lose aspiration, and they decide not to take up opportunities which they should do, and that is that uh, they, uh, they decide not to take opportunities which they should do because the rhetoric, rhetoric is so demoralising. I think, it is, I think it is laughable to say that Labour is decisive on this. They had an internal inquiry into racism in their own party, the Ford Inquiry in 2019, which has still not reported three years later. So it is a joke for them to, sit there, to, to, to stand there and tell us that we're late a year after we've actually started implementing the actions.